friends, it's Dana from Nellie DC Crochet. Today I'm going to show and tell this fun heads and tails, heads and tails, mosaic crochet bag. It's a zebra mosaic crochet bag. It's actually called Heads and Tails Zebra Mosaic Bag slash pillow. Isn't it cute? This is by Natalia Kononova from Outstanding Crochet and you can get this fun pattern. It's a mosaic crochet pattern. Probably more of a intermediate crocheter. Uh, you can get this pattern on her website or on uh, Ravelry or Etsy. I'll put the link to her um, Etsy and Ravelry store in uh, the information below. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you about this fun bag. I don't know if you can see just such detail. See the eye and all the, sh I have no idea how on earth she makes these patterns, but she is an amazing pattern crafter. And I just, I can't even begin to understand how she does this. In fact, I don't understand how anybody creates crochet patterns. They're just so intricate and it must be very time consuming. <clears throat> I made my bag with yarn B. This is not obviously not the right color or the color I use, but this is yarn B Rainbow Rhapsody and it's very lightweight. Um, it's a number one fingering weight. But the very sad thing is it is discontinued from Hobby Lobby. And I know you can find them um, on, I've seen them on, for sale on Etsy and eBay, maybe even some on um, Amazon, but it's a very reasonable price for the amount you get. Let me see if I can find how much. It's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, and um, you get 918 yards. You probably use, I think I used a C hook, maybe a D hook, but anyway, it's very thin yarn, very thin, but it's wonderful to work with. If you can't find that, the one that the color theme that I used was Crimson Poppies. And I also used the black was from Shapeus Whirlette. It's a Whirlette. But this is a Shapeus Whirl, which is very similar. They're almost identical in weight. You get more yardage out of this one. It's a thousand, let's see how many yards. It's the same 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. And the yardage I cannot find, but it's more. It's at least a thousand, maybe more, whatever. Okay, anyway, but there's a Shapius has lots of options, color options, and whirlettes, which are solid colors that you can pick to um, make your fun heads and tails zebra bag. So I do not, I don't like to sew. So I had a good friend sew the lining in. You can line it or not but mine is lined and my friend did a great job. Anyway, so this is, this is just show and tell. I'm not telling you how to make the pattern, how to make the bag. I just enjoy being able to show you the end product from <clears throat> the color theme that I used, the yarn that I used, and to encourage you to go over to Outstanding Crochet and look up the bag, and um, there's lots of help in her Facebook group. If you have any 
uh, need of help, you've got questions, there's people that can answer, and Natalia answers also. Her Facebook group is Outstanding Crochet. Anyway, so this is Dana. Uh, let me know if there's other things you'd like to see in the YouTube channel, and I will see you on another video next time. Bye-bye.